We care about measuring biological properties that will enable us to age better, have a healthier life, and maybe prevent the onset of neurodegenerative diseases. Each person will have uh, his or her own biological age that can go faster or slower than the chronological age. Chronological age is the age that we know we have. And then the biological age uh, related to that. Your biological age matters because it is impacted by interventions that we know slow down aging as well as interventions that we know accelerate aging. If you're 25, you're much less likely to have Alzheimer's than if you're 85. But that's, there is no way to get around that. But among an age group of say 85, there are those who will be more protective and those who will be more at risk. And the ones who will be more at risk will be the ones that have an accelerated clock versus the ones that are protected and have uh, a slow uh, ticking clock. What we're trying to learn is why there is that dispersion and why in some cases you can have those discrepancies between biological and chronological age. And what we are learning more and more is that that discrepancy is meaningful. The higher age, the more likely you are to develop neurodegenerative diseases, a period, right? So the best thing you can do to avoid it is to stay young. However, we all know that we can't stay young forever. Time is passing. So the, the second best thing you can do is to somehow try and, and decrease the pace in which your biological aging. So think about this as a preventive medicine, the same way you use, say, statins to decrease cholesterol, to decrease uh, cardiovascular re risk. The intervention that we know slows down aging across the board is calorie restriction. We are uh, uh, very uh, curious about the impact of lifestyle changes, such as exercise, some life events uh, earlier and midlife, how that impacts uh, your RDNA age. There's so much that we have learned already by doing research in aging, in neurodegeneration, research on, on environmental factors that influence the, their epigenome, and, and change aging, change neurodegeneration. There's so much we've learned and there's so much more than we can learn. I think the biggest takeaway of any research, I would say, is that uh, it's always the beginning and there is, there is, there is always a, 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 an amazing and long and fun road ahead.